it's probably a good idea to label your slides. Um, I've labeled this slide here Map of Campus and as you can see on the film strip it says Map of Campus. When you've got 40 odd slides in a Captivate presentation it's very handy to find them by their labels rather than just slide 6 etc. So a good idea to label your slides. Um, let's go on to something different now called Slide Notes. You can see here that I've got a tab which I can click with my slide notes. If that tab's not showing you can go up to Window and click Slide Notes. Put a tick by it. Slide Notes are very useful for a number of reasons. Um, one, it can be a description of what this slide is about, just for you. Um, you can put notes on there to print out as a Word document for students. You could also have it as a script if you're doing a voiceover on this slide. Um, if you didn't want to do a voiceover yourself, you could use the built-in text-to-speech engine in Captivate and we're now going to have a look at that. So let's put some notes in. I'm going to click a little plus sign and enter some text. This is a map of the campus. I'm going to put a comma in there um, and highlighted is the Jack Cross Center. The reason I put a, a comma in there is so he'll, the, the voice engine will stop and give it a little pause there. So I'm going to go click this box here for text to speech and then click the text to speech box. What happens then? I'm able to load one of the voices. These voices, apart from Microsoft Sam, come free with Captivate. Don't forget you have to load them separately to the program of Captivate. So load Captivate first and then follow the instructions in the manual of how to load those. So I've got Simon selected. I'm going to click the Generate Audio and get Close. Go back to the timeline. You can see my audio now has been generated. If I press Play, let's hear what he has to say. This is a map of the campus and highlighted as the Jack Cross Centre. So not too bad. Not too bad at all.